is it stays you back for another video sorry the lighting's a little bit weird i'm still trying to use natural lighting because i feel that's the best way i really don't want to have any like harsh lights on my skin like i i have okay skin like i don't really have a, any problems with like pimples or whatever but that's besides the point anyways i'm just gonna jump right into the story because i have a little bit of time to tell you guys and i just want to remind you guys to always be careful to lock your doors and always be aware of your surroundings this happened a couple days ago like two days ago i got home from work my sister drove me home we work together i let ryan know that i'm home we go out to the laundry room because usually after i get home from work i take all my work clothes off and i throw them right in the washer in the laundry room we're doing my clothes we start a conversation we're talking for like five ten minutes and you know like i'm fucking butt ass naked okay like <laughs> butt ass naked because i just took all my fucking my work clothes off right so we're just talking you know and i feel comfortable because i'm with my husband and um next thing i know i hear like a not like an intentional knock at the door like a like a you know like somebody's like trying to get your attention like hey i'm at the door i need to talk it's like a weird creepy ass fucking tap it was like tap 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 it was something like that like not exactly like that but like you get my point so i like fucking scream i'm freaking out like jumping fucking naked i jump behind ryan he grabs a fucking like eight inch fucking knife and he's like let me go let me go i need to see who's out there so i run through the hallway put some clothes on real real quick i run in and this all happened in like 30 seconds so we got to the point of somebody knocking i'm sorry <laughs> that's my son it was only like 30 seconds to, like starting from the point where somebody knocked and we went outside so i throw a pair of shorts on and a tank top we go outside and nobody's fucking there somebody was standing in my fucking um doorway knocking on my door looking at me fucking naked being a creep god knows how long they were there and um they they tried to creep me out they were tapping and, it, and you can tell like the difference between like an animal like i'm not fucking stupid you can tell the difference if it's like an animal getting into your shit or if it's a person or somebody trying to fuck with you you know like i've lived here for a while like i know like how people act and how the animals are and keep in mind it was at midnight i get off work late so it's going on like it's probably like between 11.50 and 12.05 and it was so fucking creepy. We go outside and nobody was there and it was so fucking strange because how you get out of our backyard, like it would take a minute, you know? I don't understand like how they got out of there so quickly. Like they could have like went like over to the other side and like went through like this little like pathway that we have but still like we have caution tape like blocking that shit off and it's just fucking crazy and i feel like they saw the caution tape and the don't enter and they tried to fuck with us and i feel like they just saw like a naked woman in the window and they wanted to get like a peep show you know and it's not like i'm always standing like in front of the fucking windows naked like it's private like you have to like walk like maybe like 20 30 feet to get where we are and then go up like a hill and then go up behind our backyard like it's so private like nobody would just be like oh i wonder if i can go up here you know like obviously that's somebody's property and i just i'm so creeped out so i called my landlord he has like cameras set up and everything like for security not because like oh my god i'm so fucking awesome and like i need my own security or anything but that's just how it is which is good because i can actually catch this person on camera so i texted my landlord i was like would you be able to check the cameras for this time specifically on this day um and see if anybody went up there and it sucks because right now of course of course he happens to be out of town until later on in the week so i'm gonna have to wait for him to check the cameras but i know the exact time the exact date exactly when it happened and i just kind of want to remind you guys to please be careful be safe um just make sure you know your surroundings and know what you're doing and keep an eye out you know like it, it's just so creepy i feel so creeped out like even talking about it like every little sound in my house i'm just like oh shit oh shit what was that are they back it's just so fucking scary and um that's my story time if anything else happens i'll keep you guys updated and i would like to have it on video because if that's the case i would have proof you know like i have my son here he's only six months old and it's definitely very scary but um i hope you guys enjoyed this video and maybe <laughs> yes he agrees with me maybe you guys learned to 
you know, be a little bit more careful, keep your doors locked, and always be aware of your surroundings because you never know. And there's been so many crazy things happening in the world today with all the shootings going on with the cops and everything else and the Orlando shooting and like, shit's fucking crazy. So just please, please, please be careful. And it's not really that, but this Pokemon Go bullshit, have you guys heard of that? Have you guys played Pokemon Go? Like, I'm pretty sure you have. I just downloaded it like a week ago. And, like, I play it sometimes, but, like, I don't understand how people can be playing it while driving. Like, I've seen people, like, run into the middle of the fucking streets for a fucking Pokemon. What? Like, your life is more important, your safety and your health is more important than catching a fictional freaking being. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like this is all just a weird conspiracy thing to fucking, like, detract us from what's really going on in the world. Maybe that should be a new series, like conspiracy theories and shit like that. I'm scared now. I don't want to get myself in trouble with like the government or some like weird Illuminati type shit. I'm freaking myself out. But um, pray for me guys if I don't upload a video in like the next couple of days, maybe something happened to me. I don't know. But I love you guys and please, please, please stay safe, okay? And I will see you guys in the next video. Oh, also, if this is your first time watching a video of mine please hit the subscribe button i'm trying to make my youtube channel grow i have lots of story time videos that i can make i have tons of ideas and if you guys have any suggestions and leave them in the comments below i also have a twitter i think it's at daisy monster 47 i have an instagram daisy monster and I also have a Snapchat, which is DaisyMonster47, I believe. If not, there will be links in the description below, or you can check out my other channels. There's links down there, too. But um, have an amazing day, guys. Try and stay positive, and I will see you guys. Peace.